Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, tonight I am going to use a product that I've been testing for a little while and I have a new toy. So uh, when my husband takes us down, uh, you'll be able to see the new toy. Uh, let's get started because this will be a quickie today. Okay, I have a new 24 inch spinner and I found these amazing canvases um, that have a beveled edge on them. They're not just straight. So this is a 20 inch round. And the new products that I'm using tonight, um, they are from Pixel Paint Designs and I will put the link in the description box. Um, I'm using Boom Gels. Um, I had a very, very successful test with these and they are gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to use the pearlescent violet and the pearlescent baby blue. Also, I'm using the pearlescent teal. And I also made a, uh, boom pearlescent mica in the Aztec gold. And then I'm adding two of my faves, uh, Reflex Rose by Amsterdam and Bronze. Um, I mixed them the same as I did in video number, let me look because I wrote it down, video number 29. So if you want to go back to video number 29, all my paints are mixed exactly like that. Um, Aubrey's site also has liter size Aussie Floetrol and she is who I am now ordering it from because her prices can't be beat there. She, and she's just a small business and, you know, supporting a small business is something that's near and dear to me because obviously I'm a small business as well. Um, all of my colors except for the boom gels are mixed with mix and um, my pillow is made with artist loft flow acrylic white my cell accelerator is made with the oxide black the amsterdam so we're going to get my pillow paint down on here and remember what's really nice about using mix to make your pillow paint is you can torch it. So let's get started. I'm gonna put down a layer of pillow paint. And I'm just putting down a good layer of it because I'm gonna spin this. Okay, big heavy layer, I used up everything I had in here because this canvas is big. Okay, and I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I am gonna torch it though because there's a gajillion bubbles in here. I can't wait to use a spinner. Y'all are testing it with me. If it's an epic fail, then we have failed together. But trust me, I don't know how to fail. You fix and correct. You don't fail. You never give up. Okay, so boom gels are made so that you do not have to do anything to them. They make awesome stuff all by themselves. So you can literally just open it up and put down a color. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put the color down. That was the pearlescent violet. And then I'm going to put down some baby blue. 
I think I will, got a little goober in there because I was playing with these paints and oh, MG, I loved them. So awesome. Okay, then we'll put down the baby blue. I love that I don't have to do anything to these. They just work all by themselves. Okay, and they play well with other stuff too. So I'm gonna add some Reflex Rose. Not a ton of it. I know I made a ton, but it's because I got things cooking in my brain that I'm gonna use it for. And then I'm gonna add the bronze. Just a line of that. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the pearlescent teal. Yep, I was playing with this one too. I left me a goober in it. I should have checked that. But that's okay. It only takes a second to get rid of. Okay, now we're going to put that down. Just a line. And then I'm going to put down the mica, the mica powder, the Aztec gold. Let's get to the chase, right? I should have just dumped it on because I wanted a good layering of that. Because I use these micas too, and wow, holy moly, were they cool. Okay, I'm gonna set that, set those colors aside because I see all sorts of craziness going on here. And see, I just saved the back of my things that I do my big canvases. I just saved the back so that I can use them for other things. And I need a paper towel to wipe my swiper on. So I'm going to just pour some of this cell accelerator onto this little thing. just in a line so that I can put my swiper tool in it. Okay, I'll set that aside. And I think I'm gonna torch it again because I've got some bubbles that are popping up. And we all know what happens when bubbles pop up after you've done a swipe, it makes little white spots. And nobody likes that. Okay, so I am going to dip my swiper into that black and let it kind of drip off a little. And I'm going to swipe. Okay, wipe off my swiper. Got some sweet stuff going on. Okay. And we'll go again right next to that. Okay. I was playing with the devil running that over my painting. It's a big no no. Shouldn't do that. Okay, then I'm gonna spin this baby around because I am better at swiping from right, from my right. So, we'll get some more. And then we'll 
we'll start over here and swipe that out. And I'm going to get a new paper towel. And I love that my glass, or that my spinner is glass because it will make cleaning it way easy. Okay. And then I'm going to dip again. And we'll go again. You just get it right up against where your other cells are. And I'm holding it fairly level with the canvas, you know, like this as I'm swiping because then it's helping move everything along. All right, this one's too big. Let me grab another swiper. And we will go in on this side. We'll just dip it in there and bring this out. Okay, then I can spin my thing around. Ah, I love it. I love this spinner. It's all awesome. And and we'll do that. Okay. All right, then, done with that, put that over here, and then I like to go in and fix these little areas where I have white showing just with a little swiper. Okay. I'll spin it over this way. And one more time, right up here. Okay. I don't know what I want to do with this. What do I want to do with that? You know what? I'm going to swipe it just a little bit. But I'm not going to use this size. I will use a bigger size. Let's use this one. These are just little spectrum things that I get in the mail and I just cut them up because they're nice and plastic and they clean up nicely. Okay. I'd rather use them for art than throw them in the garbage, right? Okay, so now, because I have a massive amount of paint on here, we are going to spin this. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And we're gonna spin this out. Let me get everything out of the way because I don't know what this is gonna do. All right, let's go. Look at that, y'all. Woo! Huh. 
How pretty is that? I still have to spin it a couple times because I haven't quite got my side sides, but they're almost there. Yep, they're dripping, they're dripping. I got it covered on this side and this side. I think I need one more. Yep, I'm good now. Okay, so I did not make a mess on my table. Here's another thing that I like about this spinner. I only have to clean that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you down, but I don't want you to, I'm not gonna emphasize what's on the thing because I'm gonna, after I turn this video off, I'm gonna pick it up and clean my thing and have it setting on uh, little stands for it to stand up so it will dry. But I'm gonna come around and look, my hands aren't even dirty. This, I can save my gloves. Yahoo. Okay. I am going to bring you down for a close up so you can see what I'm seeing. And we will call this a day. I love that I only put a little bit of the Reflex Rose in there because it really made a pretty purple with those bloom gels. All right, let me bring you down. Okay, look at this. Look at these boom gels. So awesome. I wish you could see how absolutely shimmery they are. They're so pretty. And I got some transparency too, which definitely is not hurting my feelings. But look at these, these cells. Just look at them, the lacing. Awesome stuff. All right, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful, spectacular day, and I will see you soon. Bye.